It's time to plant some flowers here at the garden pit. Yeah, I'm gonna plant some uh, flower seeds today. Uh, I think uh, flowers are important around the garden and around uh, your house there. They make your house look uh, nice and these beautiful flowers. And they also attract uh, bees and some even attract uh, hummingbirds to your property there. So, uh, you know, there's a few benefits to planting flowers. I, I always enjoy growing them and I hope you all get into growing some flowers too. Well, uh, today I'm going to plant some for a santhemums or some people call them mums. I haven't planted those in a long time. I planted them a few times before with no success. Uh, I'm going to plant some Hewachera he or some people call it uh, coral bells. I got two varieties I'm planting of those. I'm planting some uh, salvia. One, I got one variety of that. I got two varieties of coleus. I know they're not flowers, but uh, they're a foliage plant there. But they uh, they have a uh, beautiful foliage there. And I'm planting some zinnias. I'll show you how I do them. So just hold on. Right, we're gonna start it off with the uh, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemums or mums. Uh, this variety is called Charm Early Fashion Mixed. It's a hybrid. Where's my scissors? Here they are. That thing just shot off over there. Now when you plant these, these are very small seeds. You're going to plant them on the surface of the soil. We're not going to cover them up. And they, uh, they need light to germinate in. And you can put them... Uh, anywhere in the house there where you get some light and room temperature is fine I'm going to probably have to rip this packet open there because they get stuck in the bottom when they're that small they're very small it's supposed to be 30 seeds in here that sure don't look like 30 I wonder how they the uh, harvest these things are so excuse me they're so small a little hiccup there get out of there you know, I'll be very happy if I can get these to Germany it's just they see small seeds I have problems with there's a little bit left in there I don't know if it's 30 seeds I'm not, I'm not buying from this company anymore. I just, I had a whole, a whole lot of luck with them. They're under new ownership, I would believe, because they, they are, they're with another seed company out there that I don't approve of. Their prices are sky high. You know, I, you know, I can't see taking out a. Uh, second mortgage there to buy buy seeds you know, I, I know it costs a little money but not the prices they charge all right yeah, they're in there I guess let's cover them up oh that's right we're not covering them up I'm just going to firm them in into this soil here so they make a good contact with the soil Sure, nothing stuck to the spoon here, and that's it. And into the liquid seaweed. Uh, next, we're going to plant some. Uh, I guess it's pronounced Huchera or <clears throat> coral bells. These are very tiny seeds, I guess. These uh, seeds are uh, supposed to be planted on the top, and nothing cover them. They uh, 
need some light and you can plant them you can uh, place them in the house anywhere uh, normal uh, temperatures in the house Ooh, they're really small Shoo. I'm just gonna rip this open I hate buying stuff like this and, and it don't germinate They're really small. It's supposed to be 40 seeds in here. I doubt it. I'm just going to do, do it this way. I didn't even hang on there so small. You, know, you would figure a seed company would put these in a little pouch or something inside this pack. So they wouldn't do this, but they they're sticking to everything. The, the the glue they have in the package. Glad I have my glasses on. Oh, there's a little one. I don't know where they're going in the soil, but we're gonna give it a shot. There, never grown these before from seed. All right, that looks like that's it. Not buying from them anymore. All right, we're gonna farm them into the seed start mix here. It's been a video blitz today. Planting a lot of different things today here. All right, I guess I guess that's they're in there. Put them in the liquid seaweed and we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll let you know. I'm planting my second second uh Futura. And I want to see you uh, show you how this company I don't know if you can see it puts it in their packet. See that? That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see the seeds in there. I don't know if it doesn't look like it's focusing. But that's how they put it in their packet. That's 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 the way you do it. That's the way a good seed company takes care of their seeds. Alright, next we're gonna plant some uh salvia. Uh this this is um called salsa salmon salvia. Never uh, grown this from seed before. Nice looking, nice looking uh, plant. Pretty, really pretty flowers. It's really the hummingbirds like these. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe 50 seeds in here. My favorite seed company right here. Yeah, there's quite a few seeds in there. They got a little size to them compared to, to the last ones. There we go. Plant these in here. They're pretty small, so I'm going to just put a nice little coating of uh, seed start mix over top of these. <clears throat> Let's see the. Uh, well, it says don't cover them. But I'm going to put a little little cover on them. Not, not much. So they need light and they need uh, warmth. So these are going to go into the oven there. I'll just put them near the, near the window in the oven there. Open this bad boy up, make sure I got them all out of there. Sometimes they sit in the corner, I see some in there. There you go. Now, yeah, I'm going to firm them down here. Like I said, I'm going to put a very light coating on them. I'll probably put one of these spoons in here. So they have, you know, they're not real, real small. I 
that's it. Let's put a little spoon in there. Very, very light coating I'm putting on. I'm sure some of them might not get covered, but we'll see what happens. And that's done. All right. Next, we're going to do some coleus. A pretty uh, foliage plant there. They uh, grow well in the shade. Open this bad boy up here. Oh, let me see here. Let's do it this way. I'll probably end up throwing all the seed in there. Anyway, I'd open this up just in case, like that. Let's see. See, so put them little seeds in one of them little cellophane things there because they're so small. Here, yeah, this coley seed needs to just be planted on top, no cover, no soil coverage at all. They need light to germinate, and they need a warm temperature. So these are going to go in the uh, oven to germinate. Yeah, I usually don't have luck with these uh, germinate these little seeds here. I've grown coleus from seed before and I've had luck, but uh, we'll see how it goes here. This one's called Black Dragon. And I'm also uh, growing another variety called Wizard, and it's a mix. And this is how I do <clears throat> these real tiny seeds. I just have them in the palm of my hand. Let me adjust this a little bit here. There. Just have them in the palm of my hand. And I just tap lightly. And they roll out of my hand. And it's in a then some of them will stick, so I just brush them out. Looks like a couple in here still. I'm gonna get every last drop of them boys. Yeah, we got them. And that's it. Now we're just firming them down here. No cover. Now you got when, you, when you're doing this. You're planting seeds right on the top of the soil. You got to make sure that the soil gets, you know, gets nice and damp. You don't want it sopping wet. I get, you know, I just stick it in the uh, liquid seaweed, and it get it pulls the moisture up to the top there, and makes it nice and damp. And just cover it up with something clear so the so the light can get through because that. They need light to uh, germinate. Now I gotta plant another one. Plant another coleus. Let me do that and I'll be back. Last and but not least, the last flower of the day, we're gonna be planting some zinnias. I got uh, three varieties I'm planting. Uh, one's called Aztec Sunset. One's called Dreamland Ivory. It's a hybrid. And the last one's uh, Magell Magellan Hybrid. Sunburst Mix. So, let me show you how we uh, do that there. You want to plant these uh, about an eighth inch deep there. You don't want to plant them real deep. Yeah, but these seeds are probably the biggest seeds I've planted today. Quite a few seeds in there. There's supposed to be 200 in this pack here. That should be enough. There they go. They say they're the biggest seeds I probably the biggest seeds I planted today, just about. Just want to spread them around. All around the pot there. So 
I'm gonna play them too thick. That way, if play them too thick, then it'll be a you have a hard time separating them when it's time to uh, separate them for transplant. So you want to play enough that you make sure you get enough, get enough, and you get you get have a good variety to pick from. You know, get a good selection, nice sized plants there. Yeah, that looks like enough. The rest of the seed. Put a little cover, lightly cover them with about an eight inch, eight eighth of an inch of soil. That looks good. Just spread this all around here. Firm it down, make sure you have good seed contact, and that is it. We've uh, put that in, and that is it for today's planting. I got to plant two more varieties of zinnias, and I'm done for today. Well, that is it for today's video blitz. Hey, we're done planting the flowers now. Uh, hopefully, uh, they'll all come up there. A lot of them were real, real tiny seeds there. Like I said, uh, I've always had a problem germinate them, germinating them. I really read up on them before I uh, planted them today. So hopefully, the information I got was good. And then I have uh, good luck germinating these things thanks for watching oh excuse me A little regurgitation there <laughs> thanks thanks for watching y'all take it easy out there see ya